Thank, thank you, Bill. Um, Gary, Gary Roach. Uh, Gary is a battlefield guy, he's been a battlefield guy here for the past 18 years. And his great great grandfather, Patrick Delancey, served the Pennsylvania 130, 143rd uh, Infantry uh, during the Battle of Gettysburg. Today, Gary actually has in his possession a detailed record of what his ancestor did in Gettysburg as well. It's a very medal of honor that his great great grandfather earned that next year in the Civil War. 150 years later, Gary makes the battlefield come alive and the history of the Medal Cup come alive. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Gary Roach.
ancestor rejoined his brigade, commanded by Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, later recipient of the Medal of Honor here at Gettysburg. In their senior years, the old comrades, by then recipients of the Medal of Honor, united by service and devotion to their comrades, gathered again, just as you men have gathered here today. At the dedication of my ancestor's monument, 143rd Pennsylvania, my great-great-grandfather delivered the address. These are the closing words of that speech. Distance ends in champ, he said, and the veterans becoming more dear to the nation's heart as the years roll on. Generations yet unborn will make offer at the soldier's shrine, and the proudest post of the soldier's posterity will be that an ancestor carried the musket to preserve the integrity of the Union. We are those unborn generations. And just as we continue to salute to the soldiers of long ago, we will always salute you for your extraordinary contributions to the United States of America, our greatest and our very best. Thank you very much.